Here with UWL head soccer coach Jason Murphy as we preview tomorrow's WIC championship game, which of course is presented by Culver's. The Eagles will travel to UW-Whitewater for the championship game at 6 o'clock, and the winner earns the automatic bid to the NCAA Division III championships. Those announcements will be made on Monday. Coach's first review, uh, Thursday night's uh, thrilling win. It was a 1-1 tie, and then you won the shootout at Stevens Point. Just talk about the, kind of the weather conditions of it, and then just uh, coming through it the, in the shootout. Yeah, we... Uh wasn't probably our best game in terms of how we played. Um, we, we were forced to play a little bit different than we normally do, a little bit more direct, uh, but our kids battled and really worked hard, and uh, Stevens Point was really ready to go from the get-go, and then I think in the second, hand we, second half, we were able to get a little bit more control, control of the game and uh, really created some chances, gave up a goal, came back and scored a nice goal right after it, um, and then obviously when you get to, sh get to a shootout, it's uh, not really the game of soccer anymore, and it's uh, high anxiety for everybody, but uh, our players were prepared, they were ready, they stepped up and did their job, so I was really excited about it. Uh, talk about, you had a shootout, uh, you've had a shootout in the past in WIC championships, but you had some new players too, probably experienced for the first time, just what you told them before they went out for the shootout? Yeah, it's all about belief. We believe in our kids, we love them to death, we, we only hope for the best. Um, we tell them, go out there, do what you've practiced, you've practiced it a lot, take a chance. If you miss, she saves it, anything happens, we're not going to love you any less, we're going to care about you just as much, we're going to put our arms around you, give you a hug. Um, and our kids were able to capitalize on the moment and, and do well. Uh, Whitewater earned a 3-1 home win over River Falls as the number one seed. You're the number four seed, so they'll host the, the championship game tomorrow night. Uh, you're not strangers to Whitewater in the tournament. This is the fifth straight season. This is your third championship game. You each have won one time. Lacrosse had a tie, but you won in a shootout, so you've won a tournament title. Uh, lacrosse, lacrosse has won the last two, but just talk about a very familiar opponent here with Whitewater. Yeah, Ryan does a great job with his group down there in Whitewater, and, and they'll be ready and they'll be they'll, they'll be prepared. Um, this is our will be our fourth game in seven days, or fourth game in eight days, so we're a little bit dinged up, and we got to make sure we're resting our bodies and taking care of ourselves. But uh, we're going to show up, we're going to battle, we're going to compete, and uh, we know what they're going to bring. They know what we're going to bring, so there's not going to be a whole lot of surprises. Uh, hopefully, the weather can stay semi-manageable, but uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity to play again. You know, it's that time of year where you lose and your season could be over, um, and the opportunity to play again is something that we're really excited about. Uh, UWL and Whitewater had a 0-0 double overtime tie October 12th in Whitewater. You had 14 shots on, on in the match in the game, 9 on goal. The Warhawks had 7, 2 on goal. What maybe you've taken from that match that you could use tomorrow night? Yeah, the, it's funny. It was only like a, a little over half a month ago, and but it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Um, obviously, I thought in the first half of that game we were a little bit better than them. In the second half, they evened it out, and then we both had a good chance, and they probably had the best chance to win the game in, in overtime, or theirs was in double overtime. So um, we got to be ready to play. We got to do what we're supposed to do. Um, we have some. We have a plan. Obviously, we know they're going to have a plan. Um, but yeah, that game we watched it a little bit again this week, and we kind of know what to expect. But we know their players. They have great phenomenal players we know who they are we don't need to watch them on film we know what they're going to try to do we just have to make sure our kids are organized and prepared and and know what their tendencies are the weather's supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow but you played on tuesday at home against oshkosh uh, that victory won nothing and then like we said thursday in the cold weather saturday it's not gonna be balmy of course so how you prepare your team for the weather you, like we said you played two games in it this week already yeah we talked about it all the time not everybody gets the opportunity to play today not or train today and play tomorrow so we talk a lot about just what a wonderful opportunity it is to continue to play and if you're not excited and if you're not in if you can't get in the right mindset then you need to tell us that and we got to play somebody that can be in that right mindset if you're worried about your hands being cold then you're not focusing enough on the game and so we, we try to prepare them we, we obviously wear gloves and do that kind of stuff, but we try to prepare them just to mentally be prepared for it. It's, it, it, it's not going to be warm, that's for sure. Again, UW Lacrosse and UW Whitewater in the WIC Soccer Championship game, 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Go to uwlathletics.com. You can find all the links there for the live stats and the live video. And, of course, again, the winner goes to the NCAA Division Three Championships. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Dave.